Hi everyone, how is everyone doing? Welcome to my channel. My name is Tina. I hope you guys are all doing well. Today I'm here to do a review and actually comparison between the Dollar Tree paint marker paint pen and the one from Dollarama that I recently purchased paint marker and I really like this one. So Everything here is $1.25. Um, because I'm in Canada, our Dollar Tree is $1.25 because of the conversion. And this marker, this uh, paint marker at Dollarama was $1.25 as well. So what I've done here, I put, I took um, four by four cardstock, black, black cardstock, and I put the name of each marker in the back. So I'm gonna be working on this side here. That way I know which one is which. And the Dollar Tree paint marker, I have never used this one before. I believe this is new. So um, it will be interesting to see how they perform. So I have the paint marker. I have the paint pen. Oops. I have the metallic marker. I like this one. The only thing is with this one, I've noticed that if I do, most of the time I do highlighting or um, let's say for my girl die cuts or uh, stuff like this, I go over a plain cardstock to make it look like it has stripes. And with the metallic marker, I notice I have to do it twice to get like white because it kind of blends in when once it dries in the background. So that's the only problem I have. Otherwise, I really like it. But we're gonna compare them anyway. Oh. Oh my goodness. Some days my fingers don't work. Okay, so that's the Dollar Tree one. And this is the Dollarama one. Oops. Okay. So this one, I believe you have to... I took it out of the... Remove cap, hold down, hold tip down for 15 to 20, for 10 to 15 seconds to dispense the paint. Okay, so. As you see, I am impatient, <laughs> but it is coming down. It's coming down. A good flow here. And let's see. Wow, I'm impressed. This is nice. The only thing I wish the tip was thinner, but it's nice. We'll see how it dries. This is the paint marker. And I made a mess here. Okay, that's that one. So metallic marker. Let's see. As you can see, it's not as white as the paint marker. That's that one. This is the paint pen and this one too. You have to press it down until the paint comes down. So the difference, I guess, between the paint 
marker. This is water base and the paint pen. Oh, this is still not coming down. Water resistant. So this isn't water base. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. Okay, it's starting to come down. Okay. I'm gonna do some polka dots. Let's see. That's that's good. I like that. Wow, the paint marker is really nice. Okay, that's that one. And now the Dollarama one. This one I like because look at the tip. It's a fine tip. And I used one and I finished it. And when you open it, there was little um, metal balls in it. I mean, I opened it because I was curious <laughs> to see. Okay, it's coming down. And So as you can see, this is much thinner. I, I like that one. So this one, if you make lines, look how thin it is. This one, as I mentioned, it fades. So you have to go back and do a second or third time. Um, depending on what look you're going for let's say for this girl i did with this pen because i ran out of this one and as you can see it blended in um with the brown so it's not as visible but i mean in some cases it's okay and for the polka dots i actually went twice so i don't know if it's catching the camera I actually went twice with this. So as you can see, you need to go two or three times if you want the polka dots to show more. Because once you put it down, it's fine, but then it dries up and it fades. So I did that twice and I already look at the difference. It's fading. So that's that one. Let's do some lines with the paint pen. I mean, it's pretty nice. It's, streak, it's streaking some, but it's nice. And then this is the paint marker. I think I like the markers better. The color of the white is nice and white. So if you compare the Dollar Tree paint marker to the Dollarama paint marker, they're very similar in color, only this one has a thicker tip. And the Dollarama one has a thin tip, which is more precise tip. And I like them both. So if I have to choose, I will choose the paint markers versus the paint pen or the metallic marker. I mean, if they, you know, sometimes you go and this is new for Dollarama. So I don't know if they're going to keep bringing it 
and same with this paint marker hopefully it sticks around because it's multi craft so um if they're gonna keep bringing it i'm i'm great that's great but if they're not then you have options the paint pen is um pretty good too compared to the marker the metallic marker you see so i like actually i like the paint marker from dollar tree the color is very white but i like the precision tip of dollarama and these of course they come second and third the metallic marker it's my least favorite but like i said if you can't find these this will do you just have to go over it uh, two or three times so i hope this review was helpful and um now you know you can save money i was using on stuff like this uh, my gel pen but again if you don't buy the good gel pen i mean they don't seem to work so now i'm just using these markers it does the job and it's so much cheaper than like i said bosca pen and stuff like that so if you enjoyed this video please give me thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe until next time have an awesome day you guys bye